What's going on, everybody? Good morning, Dark Sizzlin. Put in coming out to you. She's got that silly headlight still on. We are beach fishing today, and we just got the first fish. Broke the skunk right off, and guess what that is? A delicious Florida pompano. So we are beach fishing, super excited. Oh my God, the water's so cold. Let's let this beautiful fish go. Nice first bite. <laughs> That'll work. It's very cold right now. As you can see, I'm all bundled up. It's a little chilly, but the sun is rising. We've been fishing a good 40 minutes so far, and that was the first bite. We'll show you exactly what we're doing today, all that good stuff. Stay tuned. It's just gonna get better. All right, guys, we got a fish on over here with Paul. I'm running over. All right, guys, we got a nice fish on. So this is our buddy Paul Spurko over here. He is the Pompano King up here in the Stewart area. I'm gonna link all his information down below. We're using all his rigs and stuff. This is his setup, as you can see. He's got an injured shoulder, so I'm helping him out over here. This is a really nice fish, man. And Captain Paul is also a commercial pompano fisherman. Whoa! No, it's a shark. Shark! Looks like that is a bonnet head shark. They're actually quite tasty to eat. We're gonna get unwrapped here, and I'll show you the fish. All right, guys, so that is a really nice bonnet head shark. It's a member of the hammerhead family. You can see the head there, but it has a shovel shape, so it's very different than a hammerhead. People think this is a baby hammerhead shark or greater. Uh, hammerhead, but it is not. Bought a head shark. Let's let him go real quick. I really thought that was a pompano, but this guy stinks. And they got some teeth there, but they really don't ever attack humans ever. And he gone. <laughs> oh, he's sitting right there on your feet. There he goes. <laughs> that wave turned him around for a second. Ow, I got a really deep line cut. It hurts really bad. All right, we got another pompano fisherman here too. So day is just getting started and now that sun is nice and bright, but I'm looking forward to catching some more fish. You can actually eat those two guys. I think Darcy mentioned, but we have a catch and cook. Yep. If we, you want to Google up Dark Sizzle, They're good. Bonnet Head or whatever. They're good. Keeper! <laughs> Keeper! Woo! <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. On the short rod again. That is a nice fish. Pretty cool. So that means we need to cast in shorter. Really nice job though, Sizzle. Now we were just talking with Captain Paul here for quite a bit about moving, because we got a little bit of a south current and the water looks like crap, and it's an outgoing tide. All things you don't want, typically. But we've caught two pompano, just one keeper. It's pretty we early have to still. Give it 15 more minutes. And other people <laughs> down the beach don't seem to be catching too much either. That's what I think about moving. So dirty fish. You know, it's it's, like it's a third. fishing. We don't know. Yeah. That's like a 13 to the floor. Clean fork. that fish off before you show it to my people. I'm sorry. You can't be showing that dirty ass fish to these nice folk. <laughs> pretty fish. Beautiful. Let's get it in the sun. That pretty, might be the only fish, fish we catch today. You never we know. We gotta get those lines right back out. Let's go, let's go, let's go. It's now time to reset them, bring them in closer, and then fish. talk to you guys again All and right. tell you how we're catching them. Yeah. We got a fish on. Saw the rod tip bobbing up and down. Definitely a slower bite, but oh, hold, we are taking our time today to catch some fish. And let's see what it is. I think it's the right fish. It feels like the right fish. That That's like gonna a, keep. That's that gonna, gonna keep? keep. That's gonna keep all day. You're killing it. Woo! Another nice pompano. And so all I'm gonna do is I got a bucket of salt water right here, and I'm gonna bleed them out. It's gonna make the fish taste a little better. So I'm literally just gonna go in here and rip his gill plates, and he'll die quickly. All right, let's get lines right back out. Catch some more fish. All right, guys, we just had another great bite and uh, we found out the no float rigs are, are working. So again, you're gonna cast out different distances, see where the fish are. You're gonna use different colors and different rigs, see what works. Today, no floats are working, but real quick, over our gear. You're using a Kuma surf rod, 12 foot surf rod. This is a, a, a Bass Pro Beachmaster reel. You can see this big spool for casting far, okay? We have 20 pound mono on here, high viz. We prefer 15 for better casting. We've got a Uni the Uni knot on our 30 pound fluorocarbon leader which is about 10 foot. And then we got Captain Paul's rigs, okay? You can get these at fishbites.com. You can get these at uh, Snook Nook, Bait and Tackle, and uh, follow uh, Captain Paul on Facebook for the latest information, okay? There's all different colors you're gonna use. And then on the bo bottom, we got a Sputnik weight from Mr. Sinker Guy, what's yep. his name? The Sinker, Sinker Guy? Sinker Guy. And the Sputnik weight, and you cast it out and it sticks. And then you reel it in, and these release, and you reel it in nice and easy, okay? Uh, so super great rig. Uh, this is what the commercial guys are using, so this is what you guys should be using too. Let's get more fish. Brian caught that bite. Just trying to reel because the last two bites we had cutoffs. 
from a you know what, I think. At least definitely one of them was something ate my fish. But this is just swimming to the beach. I am just trying to really keep it, keep it tight. What is it? Oh yeah, no question that's a keeper right there. All right, we were just checking our lines because it's been about, I think close to an hour since we got any bites. And sure enough, the last one we put out a little short while ago, I found a, uh, a sand, dead sand flea in the surf and I picked it up and put it on this rod. Short pompano on the sand flea. I had a sand flea rigged right there and that's what got the bite. And you can see that we are using no beads, no floats. That seems to be what the trick is today. That's the littlest pompano I've caught in a long time. But also good to see. Target species acquired once again, but we're gonna let them go real quick. Just gonna throw them out. Bye, buddy. All right, I just turned around. You can't not stop looking at these rods. And I saw the line was completely slack. These fish are just making it go slack and swimming around with the bait in their mouth. Saw the fish jump out there too. So let's reel it up and see what it is. Well, you can see how far the ocean has fallen back. We have almost a slack tide, dead low. Ooh, he's making a run right here. What is it, what is it, what is it? Yeah. It's a bluefish. Cool, I'll take a bluefish. Yeah. What is that, a cocktail? I would say that's a cocktail. Cocktail blue, look how pretty nice. that guy is. Nice, it's been a while since we've caught a yellow-eyed demon. <laughs> but I know a lot of you guys in the Northeast watching this would, wa would eat this fish. This is a nice fish. Maybe we'll eat it. Maybe not, pompano's way better. This is what you eat in Long Island when you can't catch pompano. There we go. All right, there he is. Actually, he doesn't have really a yellow eye. It's kind of pretty. Nice fish, I'm gonna keep it. Our buddy, Captain Paul Spurko, is about to leave. So I actually have a bunch of stuff here for him and I'm gonna just give it to him because he, just, he does so much for us and gives us all those awesome rigs. Oh and so we got all of huge variety of knives for you from Smith Consumer Products, my, my sponsor that makes my Garcizzle knives, but all kinds of cool stuff. And I also figured I'd give you like a bunch oh, um, for Randy too. So like give whatever you want to Randy because I know he fishes. Fantastic. So all that stuff is for you. Thank you. And also I'm giving you this bag of fish hook and anchor bracelets that I make. And a lot of them are gold because <laughs> okay. I know you guys like gold. Oh, yeah. Um, so, yeah. So, give them what? away or keep them or whatever. Well, so, I don't care if I caught any hooked them up today or not. Yeah. I mean, this, this, so, this is phenomenal. one of those might become your lucky fishing hook bracelet. Well, we'll, we'll <laughs> All right, put it good. to the test. Good. Thank you for the knives. I just You're said very to uh, Brian that I've used the last one you gave me. I mean, I'm still using it. You're still using it? Oh, yeah. Good. It's just a great knife. But great yeah, to I, hear. I certainly appreciate it. It's always fun fishing with you guys. Awesome. Always. We can't wait till next time. All right, cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me get you a plastic bag, too. because yeah. You almost ready to that beautiful? Clean these fish back at the house. Yes, I'm ready. I'm ready. Nice. Spent right. a lot of time getting my knives nice and sharp. She is getting, guys, she's getting so good with these stones, sharpening it on the stone, it, it, cutting paper like, like. Butter. Like a hot knife through butter. Yes, you're doing a great job. So, uh, yeah, and just by sharpeners real quick, you know, the pull through is super easy. You can put it in your pocket, you can take it backpacking, you put it in a boat, but the stone is gonna take off less stuff, and if you get good at it, and anybody can, anybody can get good at it, you can uh, really make your knife sharper, and, and it's gonna make your life, your knife last longer. Yeah. Right? Yeah. She knows. Yeah. And, we, oh, and here's the big one she's been using from Smith. The trihone. The trihone. This thing here. Yeah. Anyway. And it just rotates. It has three different sides. Nice. Different. So are we ready to flay that bluefish? I am. I'm just bluefish. kidding. Listen. <laughs> wait. I was like, wait, what? What? We're not, I'm not eating that darn bluefish, guys. We're going to eat pompano. These better. are way better. This is like 100 times better. 100 times better. I don't, I don't know if you're aware. Get ready, Sizzle, to do this. Yes. Can I get my, I forgot my freezer bag. Okay, hurry. Let me go it. grab it. I'll go with you. Now, I don't know if you guys are aware or not, but I'm from Long Island. I'm 55 years old, and I've been fishing my entire life, catching bluefish my entire life. My father, here's a picture of my father catching bluefish, catching snappers at Belport Dock. He was born in 1941, so that's how long ago this was. This is the dock. I caught snappers at the dock. Here's me when I used to go offshore trolling on riches with my father catching bluefish. Here's my sister catching bluefish in North Carolina. So I know about bluefish. I know you can't cook them and eat them. I live in Florida now. We're going to eat good fish. All right, let's get to the pompano. <laughs> All right, so we got our two pompano here. We got dinner. Can't really complain about that. We got my sizzle custom knives, of course, the six and the eight inch curve fillet knife that I designed. 
But let's just dive right into this. You can already see the blood that coagulated right in the gills where I cut them. So I've done in the past the head method where you remove the head, but we're not gonna do that today. I ended up deciding I don't like that and I tried it on a few different fish, I mean a few different pompano. So we're just gonna go the standard way you fillet every other fish. And I'm gonna cut way up into his head as much as I possibly can. They've got a lot of head meat. Look at that, all the way down his head. Yeah, like a mahi almost. And then just turn it around. You go all the way down his back. It's just super easy to cut through the other side of this fish. I just feel like their bones aren't as tough as other fish. It's just interesting. And a lot of people say they don't have scales, but they have the tiniest, tiniest scales. Like that's a scale right there. But um, yeah, I'm excited. We're just gonna just play up this guy. I'm gonna get real low here. Make sure I can make the right cut with this knife. I'm just gonna let it go right over those bones. And it's, this just takes practice, learning what to feel with your blade and how it feels as you fillet a fish. There we go. And now this is a tricky part because you can open up their innards pretty easy in a certain section. So we're gonna try to avoid that. You see how easy the sharp knife is making this look? Done. That's gorgeous. And there's actually like just a little sliver on this top side. That is like excellent raw. You gonna eat that? Yeah. Let's see. That is like super excellent raw. That's the best We've part. We've had that before too. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Really good. All right, now we got all the meat. Yeah. Now, I'm just gonna switch knives because I don't wanna make a mistake here, even though I could use this. I'm just gonna go with the aid so I avoid like missing the spot because this is kind of tough right in this section. Anyhow, right. both knives will work. So I'm gonna go ahead and skin it, just like any other fish, right at the tail. And it's kind of difficult, but you wanna keep your blade up just a tad, not downward angle as you would with like snappers and groupers. Just take your time with it. It's a very thin skin. Very, very thin. Yeah. Okay, you already cut through just a little bit. That's because you were talking. But what I'm gonna do, to Here's avoid trick. that, yep, I'm gonna fix it right now. This part of the head meat kind of peels right off for some reason, but I don't want to peel it, but just to start it. Now, go back down the back side. All right, Ooh. just a tad, not a big deal though. But you see I was making a big old cut there and I just started back the other way and cleared most of that. So it happens, like I said, there's the thinnest, it's literally the thinnest skin in the entire world. But we got that off very easy. And all we gotta do now is just knock out that red blood line. And we're gonna have two delicious loins. Like you, a Florida pompano, you yes. Can, you can even cook that. And actually the skin you can also eat. Fr frankly, we don't like to, but you could. Yeah, yeah, I hear about it all the time. You guys love to eat the skin. It's edible. All right. All right, guys. Meet you in the house. Very excited. We got, we're gonna be cooking Darcy's favorite recipe. I'm so excited. Let's go. It's been a minute. It's good. It's been ages. Thanks so much, Dust Sizzle, for cleaning those beautiful pompano and not cleaning that bluefish. Welcome, guys, to another edition of Cooking with Pudding. This is macadamia nut encrusted pompano with a coconut lime jalapeno sauce washed down with crab claws. All right, let's rock and roll. How do I do this? Let me just check this real quick. It's coming along, it's coming along. All right, the sauce. We're gonna put the recipe down in the description below so you can click it and, and check a look at it closer. The sauce is we take coconut milk, we reduce it down, we cook up some jalapenos, and we take the skin off just so you have the flesh, lime juice, that goes in a blender. Blend it up, bam, 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 all right? The fish, a cup of macadamia nuts, a cup of uh, breadcrumbs, do your standard wash, eggs, into the mix, into the frying pan, about two minutes each size, depending on your fish, of course, don't overcook it, okay? Looks like we're just about done here, let's plate. We got the fish. Oh, you know what, let's do the rice first. What is this, just, we, got, we got jasmine rice. Pudding's on a diet, we got a small plate, small spoon of rice. Very nice. We got our fish. Boom. 
Boom, look at this. We got our sauce. There we go. There we go. All right, let's take it to the table for the taste test. All right, Dar Sizzle's favorite meal. Oh man, and topping it off with stone crabs, like, it's living the life, living the dream over here. Couldn't be any better. We're so spoiled. This is incredible, you know. Worked so hard for all of this, but very spoiled. <laughs> Yeah, and I was just gonna say, like, you know, we didn't catch a ton of fish in the beach, and uh, that's no. beach fishing, but who cares? We had a yeah. great time. Did we enough had, for a we meal. Had, we had a great friend, Paul, and we caught enough for dinner. Yeah. I mean, uh, how, how much more do you need? I don't need to share it with my friends all the time. I don't need to. I mean, I, I love you guys, but all the neighbors eat enough fish. They do. <laughs> it's just Darcy cleaning more fish for the neighbors. Yes. That's it. That's, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Literally. Oh, yeah. This is heaven. <laughs> now, now I know why Darcy's favorite meal are reminded. We've this is definitely one of my favorites. Maybe because it's high calories. I don't know. But that nutty coconut flavor. Yeah, so good. With the jasmine rice is just perfect. Yeah, and the, and the, uh, and the texture. The texture, that's what I'm saying? Or the, whatever. Any the contrast between the crunchy fish. Mm -hmm. I, I cooked it in oil. You can also do it in butter, but I did it in fish. You get the crunchy with the sauce on top. And you get the combo. And you got the texture and everything. It's awesome. It's so good. All right. Oh, man. We're going to link that information down below. Everything that we fished in this video will be linked down below. Please go check it out. And Captain Paul does charters, too. So you want to go fishing? Yes. He'll put you on the fish. You, Contact him. Whatever money you spend on him, you're going to save a 1,000 hours in time and, and nonsense on the beach. Mm -hmm. Trust me. So until next until time. Until our next adventure. <laughs> follow your dreams. And keep, keep on catching. No, I'm sorry. I have to, like. You got to keep eating. I'm going to eat all of this. I'm not even kidding. I have a baby plate and she has a big plate. I'm not kidding. I can put some food down. She puts food down. She only has one meal a day, but she puts it down.